Hey guys, what's going on? This is the GTA Wise Guy, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some new Need for Speed information that has been released in a Speed Hunters article by Bryn Alban. He is the lead vehicle artist at Ghost Games, and he's, he tells us about how realistic the cars can be using Frostbite, uh, the engine that the game runs off, and also we get to see some a hint at some new cars in the game as well, including some supercars with some body kits, which is pretty awesome. So straight in with the video, we'll take a look at the mood board first. So we can see all the cars that have inspired what's actually in the game. So we can see an RWB Porsche, a 200SX and a GT86 that are already in the game. So I'm just going to take a guess and say that these other cars in the mood board are going to be in the game as well. So the first car that we see in the top right is actually a gunmetal grey Liberty Walk Ferrari 458. And uh, it's got some wide body flares on it as well, which is pretty awesome. We've seen some supercars in the game before hinted with a hurricane flying past in the trailer. And also we get to see a Satra Racing Mercedes-Benz W209 CLK. Now this is a majorly stripped out racing spec, old, quite old Mercedes in a JDM style with some wide body flares, a huge wing, and uh, maybe some fleshed out interior. Uh, if we could use that in game, that'd be pretty awesome. So the next vehicle that we get to see in this as well is the Datsun 240Z Genos. Now, this is a really cool car. I do really like this car. I'm a big fan of the 370Z as well. So this is actually a different version. It's not the standard version. It's got like a G nose. It's got like a long nose on it. So if you think of the Charger, if you're more familiar with that, that's got like the Daytona nose on it. Maybe we can get a Charger in the game of a Daytona nose as well, because this is like a big jump from like flares and stuff. It's like changing the whole front end of the car really. So that sort of customization is a massive thing. Now, the next car that we get to see in another image that is actually taken from in-game is a 180SX Benz Sopra 380SX. Now, this thing has got a huge wing. Uh, we don't get to see the front of the car, but the actual car in real life has got a crazy hood. Now, that's to cover the twin turbo V6. Now, it'd be pretty awesome if we can pop the hood in the game and see what's underneath the hood. Uh, if we could see a twin turbo V6 like there's actually on this car in real life, that would be pretty cool. So maybe if we're at car meets, pop the hood, uh, show off some cool shit like that, that would be awesome. Now, another cool thing that we get to see here as well in the article is a 2015 Mazda MX-5 with a wide body kit and a ducktail spoiler. So the 2015 MX-5 is quite new. There's not many body kits or anything for it at the minute and we'll be the first ones to have sort of modified MX-5s in Need for Speed. Now, also we can see a blue 180SX that is in the article. A picture of this. Now, this has got some like negative offset or spaces because the wheels are popping out quite a bit. Now, this is pretty awesome. So this might hint at some fine tuning that might allow you to like tuck your car completely. So maybe you can have like the outer lip of your rim like overlapping the arch. That would be really awesome. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the modeling of the cars. Now, we know how realistic these cars look in game and it is absolutely crazy. Now, this is because they are modeled using some cool techniques and uh, using physically based rendering, which is the newest sort of way to sort of render vehicles in games and whatever else, like environment, whatever, that makes them look super realistic. But modeling the cars, what they actually do is a really cool technique. They get loads of pictures of cars and they use some computer assisted design software. So they take in real life photos and they construct a model from it to make basically an ultra realistic one to one match of the car in real life. So it's super authentic. And each car is actually made up of 24 parts. So if you can see this, this, um, this frosted shot of a car, like with all the different parts, we can see how many different parts of the car are customizable, which is just going to be crazy. We can have different fenders, different headlights, different bumpers, hoods, parts on the roof, whatever. And it just looks crazy. Now the realism just goes to the next level with um, Frostbite's physically based rendering. Now physically based rendering is basically taking like different textures and it makes it look super realistic. It generates sort of different like metallic and roughness so how shiny a car is how reflective it is and um, say if you've got like leather on the seats does it look like genuine leather can you see all the the shades and the cracks of the leather when you move around it when you move light around it what happens to all the lighting information when it's bounced off so you can make a really simple model look really high quality so say you've got a car that's made of not many polygons so it's a bit boxy you can put like basically a skin on it that makes it or the light pop off it in a certain way that makes it look super like smooth the surface if you're looking at it in a certain way and you won't realize it is low poly that's how the cars in Need for Speed look so realistic because basically they've just got skins on them that make the light reflect off them in a different way to make them look super like realistic and basically a one-to-one -one scale with all the different materials and how reflective and sort of rough they'd be 
So yeah, guys, that is pretty much all for this video. The cars in this game look absolutely crazy. I cannot wait for the new cars and the ultra realism that is in this game. The amount of detail that goes into all the things on the game is just crazy. I cannot wait to play it. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments section what you think of the new vehicles. Do you think they're going to be in the game or if they're just inspired for some other cars in the game or whatever? Anyway, guys, that is pretty much all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Oh, <laughs>